Hey guys, this is a message to all black people all over the world. Now, sometimes some of my messages about money and wealth is specific to help black people because I'm black. And I think it's important to talk about the demographic that I'm a part of from time to time. But this message can really be for anyone to be real with you. But here's the deal. Black millionaires. This is how you need to think rich, live successful and how to be empowered. The message is this. You are supposed to be rich. You're supposed to be successful. You're supposed to be empowered with money and in life. Yes, you are black millionaire, black person. You don't have all of your gifts and talents and abilities and creativity and intelligence to just make everybody else wealthy and rich around you except you, right? No, that is not. No, 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 no. Don't ever believe that mess, right? Black people, you're better than that. You're better than the bottom. You're not supposed to be at the bottom of everything just because you're black. No, no. Raise your standard and your expectations for you. We've got to change and correct this narrative of low self-esteem that comes with uh, skin color that everyone else seems to benefit from at, from the detriment to black people. Because this, this ain't it, right? You're better than that. Until you realize that you're better than that, you're always going to accept less and accept uh, the back seat and accept lower wages with the same amount of education and accept being the worker bee instead of what you should be, which is the owner, right? I'm telling you that you're supposed to own it. You're supposed to be in charge. You are supposed to be the boss and the creator and the one who is making most of the money off the gifts and talents and intelligence and all the abilities that you have, that you bring to the world. You're supposed to be the owner and the boss of that. You brought that. You are that. And therefore, you are supposed to reap the greatest reward from that right? You deserve to reap the greatest rewards from all the gifts and talents that you bring to this world. You're not designed just to be the tail while you watch every other people, everyone else who doesn't look like you be the head and be on top and have everything that, that uh, while you have nothing, right? You're not the bottom feeders, and that is not how this life thing is supposed to work for you because you're black. No, it's not. That's not how this economical thing is supposed to be. Yeah, I know it may look like it, but you don't have to accept it. Just because it looks like it doesn't mean that's what it, it should be and what it's supposed to be. And it certainly doesn't mean that you have to live with it and accept it that way. If you have to create your own thing, right, that you own and you control, and you manage, and you've created, then do that. If you have to start something, or, or even if you have to turn some things down, turn away from some things, right? Do that, right? You're not supposed to be on the bottom of all things in all countries and in all places on this earth. No, let's kill that, neg that, that narrative, that negative narrative that, that, that we begin to believe about black people, even being black people, begin to believe that about black people, right? Kill that in your mind. Kill it first in your brain, how you think. Rearrange your thinking 180 degrees from where you are about being black. Everything starts in your mind. You got to think differently. You have to believe that what is out here is for you and you can have it and you're supposed to have it regardless of your skin color, right? You have gifts and abilities that's untapped, unmatched, unprecedented on this planet. Use them to your advantage, not just uh, use them for your happiness or your contentment or for feeling complete. And no, use them for your monetary money gain, right? Your money gain, not other people's gain, right? Monetize, control, and be willing to compete with your gifts and your talents, right? And your intelligence, right? Be willing to compete. I said compete. Get competitive. Stop selling yourself short and stop selling yourself out and stop selling yourself for less 
because you believe this notion that somehow you aren't supposed to win or you're just lucky to be there, right? No, you bring the gift. You are the gift. You are the talent. You are the creativity, right? You are it. It wouldn't exist without you. So therefore, you need to be the one that's competing with it and getting the most monetary gain from it. Don't, don't believe that it's just not set up for you to win. Oh, the world is just not set up. That's not true. Yes, it is set up. Well, you're supposed to win. This is what I'm telling you. You're supposed to win. Okay. Stop believing this story that says you're supposed to be just the entertainment for the group while someone else is supposed to be uh, out there as the distributor, right? Distributing your talent, distributing your abilities and your gifts. And someone else is out there as the owner. Someone else is out there supposed to be the manager managing you or handling you, right? Or somebody else is supposed to be owner of the venue, right? That owns the place where you're going to display your talents or what have you. Somebody else is supposed to be the publicist or the lawyer, CPA. I'm not telling you don't have a team. You want to have a team around you if you have that type of that level of talent. But I'm saying, you know, they should not be the people who are taking all of your wealth while you're on stage entertaining or you on the court or the field performing or while you're doing the hard labor in the diamond mines or the gold mines or e e extracting the cobalt, whatever it may be. And then somebody that doesn't look like you is supposed to be living in some mansion on a hill, right? Reaping the profits off of your hard work and your sweat or off of your talent and your abilities and creativity. It does. It's not supposed to be like that. I don't care what it's looked like the past 300 years, 400 years, 500 years, 50 years. I don't care about that. It's not, that's not what it's supposed to be. You're not supposed to be the poorest, the sickest, the ones with the least money, the ones with the least hope, the ones with the least stuff, right? Or the ones with the, the less infrastructure or the less wealth or living in the lowest, right? That's not how it's supposed to be. You're supposed to be the ones at the top. Right. The ones that get the best of it all based on what you brought to the earth. You're supposed to reap the highest benefits from your gifts, from your talents, from your abilities, from your work, from your intelligence. Let's get off this acceptance of a lesser role thing. Right. Let's stop playing the bottom feeders and start playing the game to win the game. Not just be happy with the few scraps and the few crumbs and the fact that somebody let us sit at their table or they let us in the door. No. Don't be happy with that. Be happy to win the game, right? Play to win, compete and be willing to compete to win and do what it takes to win, right? Don't be fearful about what happened five years ago or the last time someone did this or what happened the last time, et cetera, et cetera. No fear, right? You cannot compete if you are fearful, right? You look at two basketball teams or two teams that play each other, right? If one team is scared of the other team, the team that's scared already lost, right? When you enter into any way of thinking or anything with fear, you've already lost. You already came in second place. So you have to put the fear aside and compete with the abilities that you were given by God. You are going to get some bumps, some bruises, some scrapes and all that good stuff. But you got to be willing to compete with what you got when you come to the table and you may just lose, you may just win, but you're out there competing. This is doable, right? This is how you got to think, but you have to rearrange the way you've been taught and conditioned to think about you and your darker skin, about success, how you think about winning, about what is possible for you despite a skin color, right? Self-respect, self-adulation, self-love, right? To say I got all this creative creativity and I got all this talent and I got all these these gifts, you should be saying I should be winning with money is what you should be telling yourself. Winning with wealth, winning with monetizing my gifts. Guys, this is encouragement. It's inspiration to you and it's motivation to you as well. But most of all, it's really empowerment to you to think different, to, to be different, to move different, to have that confidence, loving yourself and embracing who you are and being willing to compete and know that you deserve to reap the benefits of what you have and your gifts and your abilities and your talents. You deserve to reap those benefits. You're not designed to come in last place all the time 
everywhere around the world. Black millionaires and future black millionaires. This is how you need to begin to think rich and to live successfully and also to be empowered. Right. This is what empowers you in terms of how you can move to a whole nother level in terms of anything you do. Wealth. Right. Education, whatever, whatever it may be. It could be anything. Right. Ownership, business. This is how you move to that next level, that that way of thinking, that's millionaire way of thinking. Right. How to think, how to live and how to be. Think rich, live successful. And this is how you be empowered. I hope I was able to help somebody in terms of how you think as a black person that is maybe wanting to be a millionaire, already a millionaire, but the way you think is very, very important. And it's going to change a lot for you if you can get this in your spirit. Smash the like button for me. Listen, subscribe. We talk on this channel. We talk money. We talk money management. We talk about the U.S. economy and we talking about we talk about what's happening around us with money. Right. So we're aware of what's going on around us. We're not just oblivious or we're not just paying attention to the wrong things. We want to pay attention to our money, pay attention to wealth, pay attention to what's happening with the U.S. dollar, to pay attention to what's happening to inflation and interest rates and banks and all that stuff that's going on around us so we can be in a position to prepare to make sure that we aren't at the bottom, right? This is how you do it. You take in information and you prepare to ensure that you come out in ownership, right? So we try to, you know, talk about real estate on here. We talk about how to build strong financial foundations on here with money. So we can pass that, 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 that way of thinking and that money on and start our next generations 10 steps ahead of where we had to start. Right. We maybe started in the 50s and 60s and 70s and 80s and 90s when, you know, some things were a little different than they may be right now. But we want them, the next generation, to be able to compete. Right. And have that mind frame of winning with money. Guys, check out some more of the videos that I put up here on the screen. But I appreciate you listening. Feel free to smash that like button and subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Hey, take care of yourself and take care of other people. Until the next video, peace.